I'm so tired of the docile Negro. I'm so tired of the docile Negro. Let me explain something to you if you live in America. If you live in America, I got some bad news for you. If you are African and you live in America, listen up. My pretendians, my Native American Negroes, y'all can listen up to because sooner or later you're going to snap out of your false identity crisis. So you listen up to. You listen up to. America does not care about black people. Hello, and thank you for being here and supporting this channel by taking time to watch this video. I'm Lexi. Welcome. Today, I'll be responding to a video of Dr. Umar's title, Bad News for Black Americans. During his rant, he says that Africans must unify or die. Be sure to watch to the end, otherwise the video won't make much sense to you. You'll be totally confused, and there's enough of that going around already. Now. Let's listen to some of what Umar has to say. America does not care about black people. But do I need to repeat that? Do I need to repeat that? Black people, it's time to unite. It is unify or die. It is unify or die. It is organization or extermination. It's one way or the other. Voting ain't going to change nothing at all. Y'all been voting for 200 years. Voting ain't going to change. It is unify or die. Okay, now I can totally agree that voting hasn't done a lot for us. So uh, that's where we do agree. But let's continue on. It is organization or extermination. I don't care if you're a Muslim, a Christian, a Hebrew, a nation of Islam, Nawapian, Pan-Africanist, socialist, integrationist, multiculturalist, whatever you in, we have to unify across skin tone. All okay, now this is the one, this is where I have the issue. Yes, we need to organize, but he's saying we should organize across skin tones. So since when did skin tone unify anyone except white folks you know black people i mean we, we don't even know what black is we still don't know we're still confused we don't know who's black we don't know a black when we see it we can see someone that appears white and we'll say that person's black so how do you unify by skin tone i mean please let me know in the comments how that's even possible because what skin tone Light skin, white skin, dark brown, black skin. There are people with black skin. Okay? So, and it's not just Africans. I don't know why everybody thinks that. Uh, there's a lot of really super dark Indians. And I would have never known this had I not gone to a predominantly white college. You know? Because I actually went to a bunch of different undergraduate colleges. But uh, I ended up at one that was predominantly white and I had a math teacher and she was I never seen anybody so dark the only thing that was darker than her was her hair she was super dark but that was my buddy though she was she was a good teacher but anyway that's neither here nor there <laughs> how can we unite based on skin tone when Africans don't have the corner market on skin tone any particular skin tone, why are we still confused? African. I didn't say across race. I said skin tone. Africans are. This is all black everything. If you have a problem with all black everything, hop off the live right now. And see, this is stupid because he's saying all black. So what does that mean? Because he's already said that uh, biracials are black, or really he follows the one drop rule. So, you know, Kamala Harris, even though she's not black at all, she's black because, you know, she has a brown skin tone, light brown skin tone. If you have a problem with African family first, hop off the live right now. If you have a problem with African people first, hop off the live right now. I need him to hop off the live. 
Got you a snow bunny? Hop off the live right now. Snow puppy, hop off the live right now. No puppies are the best, everybody knows. Hop off the live right now. First of all, we got to get all the brothers and sisters. Only want to struggle with brothers and sisters. We got to unify. I don't want to struggle at all. So why do we have to struggle? Independent Africans, independent minded Africans must unify. Some of us are so in love with white folks, we can't do nothing for ourselves. Some of us are so in love with the oppressor, we can't do anything for ourselves. So if you are a multiculturalist, integrationist, accommodationist, colorblind religionist, hop off the live right now, see? He is a multi, what is it, multiculturalist? He's a multiculturalist, right? If he's saying that biracials who have, uh, I'll say a black parent and a non-black parent, or black then that's multicultural and what is he talking about see this is this is why you can't listen to people like him you know they they it's, it's double talk i said if you are an integrationist accommodationist multiculturalist or colorblind religionist hop off the live right now you're useless right now you are absolutely useless if you're a Negro who believe we all got to be in the same religion before we can work together, get your ass off the live right now. Get off the live right now. If you think everybody got to be a Muslim, a Hebrew, a Christian, get your ass off the live right now. Religion ain't got nothing to do with it. Get your ass off the live. This is about African family first, bro. This is about African family first, bro. See, I can agree that... Uh... You know, religion shouldn't matter and things like that. And, you know, maybe where you were born and those types of types of things. But uh, you still can't unite based off of skin tone. That's just stupid. This is about African. We don't hate nobody, but we love ourselves. And we will not be given any explanations for why we are all black everything. That's over with. It's okay to hate others if they're doing things that are uh, directly affecting you in a negative way. I just, I just don't, I don't even know why we even think like that. I don't hate nobody. I don't hate nobody. You ain't got nothing against this person or that person or whatever, you know. So, I mean, ah, crazy. That's over with. The white man ain't gave an explanation yet for why he put black people out here. He ain't gave an explanation yet on why the prisons are filled up with my people. <laughs> okay, I have not heard any explanations for why black men are killing black men. I haven't heard any explanations for why black men are killing black women. So we need to address that before we sit here and point to the you-know-who, because he's not saying, uh, you know, accusing them of, you know, all these atrocities when uh you know we're committing a lot of atrocities against ourselves so what about that yeah i said it what about black on black crime they ain't given an explanation yet why black children are being miseducated and over identified for educability mentally retarded adhd learning disability the white man ain't given an explanation yet on why black children are arrested eight times as much as white children <laughs> See, we know all these things are happening, but what are we going to do about it, right? That's the question. That's the. I hate when people complain. I mean, I used to sit next to this this African guy from uh, Kenya, and he used to come in every morning and complain about the white tea man. And my question was always, what are you going to do about it? You know, and nothing. He wasn't going to do it. I finally got to him, to him to admit that he wasn't going to do anything. And why, he said, because he didn't have any power. He hasn't given an explanation yet on why he gentrifying the black community. He hasn't given an explanation yet on the poor health and the high infant mortality rate of black America. He hasn't given no explanations, but I'm supposed to explain why I'm all black everything. I'm supposed to, to explain why I'm African family first. If he ain't got to explain his conduct, I damn sure don't have to explain my conduct. If he is for African family first, why is he always preying on single moms? 
I mean, why? Unapologetically African. If you're not going to be unapologetic, get out the way. I don't want to hear about no damn intellectual masturbation identity. I can give a damn about what somebody chooses to call himself. You want to be a Native American, you want to be an indigenous, you want to be an aboriginal, you want to be a Cherokee, a Choctaw, a Seminole, whatever you want to be, what solutions do you have for our people? I don't give a damn about no names and titles. Where are your institutions and solutions? Where is his institution? Because we keep talking about that school every year, the school's going to open, school's going to open, but yet the school never opens. Do any of you pretendians have any institutions or solutions? Do any of you Native American Negro Seminoles have any institutions or solutions? Do any of you Choctaw wannabe Negroes from Africa have any institutions or solutions? Do any of you intellectually masturbating, I'm not from Africa, wannabe pretendians, do you have any or solutions or institutions? We can't have a conversation. If you ain't got no institutions or solutions, we can have no conversation. See, before you can be revolutionary, you got to be solution. Before you can be revolutionary, you got to be solutionary. And I want all my Africans around the world to listen. Ooh, that sounds so good. Solutionary, solutionary. Ah. I want all my Africans around the world to listen. I'm listening. What you got to say, Umar? I'm organizing my own pan and pan African reparations front. That's right, brothers and sisters. We're going to take over the reparations movement because everybody else is a bunch of frauds. I'm a what? Umar just said he's going to take over the reparations movement. We're taking over the rep. Yeah, me. I'm doing it. I'm taking over the reparations. Damn right. And I'm going to announce it from Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, the cradle of civilization, Emperor Teradros on my guard, Emperor Menelik II on my guard, His Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie I on my guard, United Pan-African Reparations Front for all Pan-Africanists in the world. But what about the school? Who's going to be running the school? How can he lead the Pan-African Reparations Movement and run the school at the same time? The uh, Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey, Mia, what, what, wait a minute. Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey Institute for Boys. What about that? I don't think he can do both at the same time. So what does this probably mean? That he'll never open the school. On a united pan African reparations agenda. That's right. That's right, brothers and sisters. We will not be divided by language. We will not be divided by religion. We will not be divided by nationality. Keep saying that, but how are we going to be unified? It can't be by skin tone. <laughs> he says we, we won't be divided by all these other things, religion or fraternity or whatever. But how are we going to unify? What is the commonality? Because it's not skin tone. Can't go by that. And ethnicity. We are one people. We are one reparations front. We're going to put out one united reparations demand. That's right. That's right. For Africans in Africa. For Africans. For Africans in Australia. For Africans in the South Pacific. For the Africans of Canada. For the Africans of the Caribbean. For the Africans of the United States of America. All right. That's enough of that. Basically, though, he's just saying... <laughs> I don't know. Looks like he's going to abandon the school and he's going to take up this uh, this the, as the leader of the reparations movement. And uh, if we don't unify by skin tone, we're going to be eliminated, terminated, eradicated. How? He didn't say. He's just saying unify or die. So what do you guys think in the, you know, let me know what you think in the comments, please. I don't know what he's talking about. 
uniting based on skin tone is the craziest thing I've heard. He sounds even crazier than Go Black, who's saying he's not African. Don't call him African, but what shall we call him? I don't know. Nobody knows. These two are agents of confusion, and I don't think we can listen to either one of them. But you know who you can listen to? Me. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you on the next one. And I also like to welcome all of my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you here. So until next time, bye-bye.